Welcome back <clears throat> to the Blubber Plays Hour. The Weapons of the Third Emu War series. Oh, I need to do that to make our arrow buttons work again. So, in terms of roleplay, we're actually doing really well. We've set out, we're doing exactly what we said we wanted to do, which was defend our local area as a sort of only marginally in the war Australia. Oh god. There we go. Now the question is, is Japan going to be in that war? As if that would be very helpful if the Soviet Union attacked from up there. Why is there a Japanese unit there? Meantime, what else can we do? Well, it's 41, so I should go take that. Please stop dragging my airplanes into stupid battles. seems to be going all right. Singapore is holding. As are we. We could go hire someone. So... Probably the quartermaster guy, because we are going to have to go build nuclear reactors eventually. Okay, so nothing happened. Well done. The naval battle of nothing happened. Australia will develop its own bomber arm. The Woomera is only a light craft, but will be adequate for protecting our homeland and light combat air support. So we're all happy with this. I suppose I could upgrade it as well. What does it do? I mean, the aim isn't to actually attack with them. So, I don't know that I'm sold on that. I'm okay with getting that buff, though. That seems worthwhile. Extra attack on the already existing ones. I don't want your stuff. What are you saying we aren't producing? But I have stockpiles of them, so it's okay. Now I'm hoping that once these finish I'm able to see how many transports I'll need, because I'm thinking that maybe 50 is enough. I mean, I'm certainly hoping it is. I don't want to have to build more than that. I want to get, get back to building fighter aircraft. Oh 
no, not Norway. <clears throat> Whatever will we do? <clears throat> yep. Door thing. No Japan. Mine. Go away. Not long now and they'll be finished. I can work out if I need those transports, or if I already built too many. I already built too many, I don't know what I'll do with them though. Another passive buff sounds fine. text. We are surrounded by water, so we should look into planes and training that will allow us to intercept and attack enemy fleets. Naval bombing is a specialized skill and should be a focus. Yes, I agree. Oh! They took an island. The only one that I haven't been guarding in here. Where's the Arafu Sea? I have no idea. Oh wow, we're almost up to the limit. You know what then? Your limit is higher now. So is yours. Ah, here we go. So, in theory, if I wanted to... Uh, parachute you... From here... This is not a valid province for the Paradrop. Maybe they can't reach there? case I'm hoping that's enough transport planes so I'll drop it back down to one and instead go back to producing one and one aside from that's just naval bombers all day every day Go get that one so that we can get more steel. Now. Oh yes, you need to actually have the transport planes here, don't you? Yes. Aha! 
Okay, slight victory. Now, if I move the transport planes here, from here, actually turn back around, then go to Port Moresby, then walk up to that airfield. And I can consider building some airfields up here, although I think this idea does it, so I might just wait and let that idea finish it. But I want to check out this anyway, and we can always come back. drop back down to the bottom. Suppose those can be at the top. Nearly finished with our infantry equipment requests. Now, our good friend Raj, I have some old guns that I imagine you could use. I also have all these. And that'll do. Oh, these have arrived. A few would waltz up to F port. I can try finding out where I would be allowed to paratroop to. Oh yes, what a marvellous paradrop. No. So, okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. We're better off back here. Head back to Port Moresby, head back to this Darwin three civilian factories I don't know, I guess one 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 we're probably done I've run out of capacity only that one left for increasing our capacity Can't hire the that guy yet. I could go get the uh, naval bomber one. And I don't mind paying extra for better stuff. We might go grab that one in the future. Speed up. It's all going well. See if this builds a useful naval base. If it builds it somewhere stupid, I might just have to manually build it up there. Singapore holds. So 
So oddly enough, does Hong Kong. No, I don't see any units there. Makes it awfully tempting to try and jump in here. All it would take is a unit or two. not 42 yet. I don't really care about adding rockets. Yep, I can be convinced to go do that. Wait and see if this builds those useful airfields, and if not, we cry. Singapore finally fell. Um, this can, however briefly, replace you, and you can go get all this land back for British Malaya. Dead Italy. giving me stuff. So instead we say... I guess the UK? No, I guess the USA. do the Raj for that one. Stop it. I don't want your free units. Go help England. They need it. So we're earning that back. Now, where was that airfield? I was promised airfields. You build them as low in the Northern Territory as you possibly could. I hate you. Okay. So... I want an airbase there. See if that does what I want. Other than that, women are allowed to become pilots. Mm. Don't know. 
might be more useful coming this way. Because the extra three um, division on core territory would be useful at the moment. The three strength when we're defending these naval landings. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. But what well, do you know it's time to end the episode? So, the defense continues, although we're building a little teeny tiny offense army with the intention of seeing if we can go burst in here. And we're building an airfield here with the hope that we can land on this little island. But we'll see. I hope you've enjoyed watching and you'll join us again soon.